Um, th there are so many things to worry about, so many things to be concerned about. Um, there's, there are many troubles in the world, of course, and we sh th these are important and we need to solve them. But we also need things that make us ex excited to be alive, that make us glad to wake up in the morning um, and be fired up about the future and, and think, yeah, the future's going to be great. You know, and, and this space exploration is one of those things. Um, and becoming a, a space bearing civilization, being out there among the stars, this is one of the things that I, I know makes, makes me glad to be alive. I think it makes many people glad to be alive. It's one of the best things. And there's, there's really, we're, we're, we're faced with a choice. Which future do you want? Do you want the future where we become a space bearing civilization and are in many worlds? and out there among the stars, or one where we are forever confined to Earth. And I say it is the first, and, and, and I hope you agree with me. Yeah. So the, what I'm saying is that it, it's, it appears that consciousness is a very rare and precious thing, and we should take whatever steps we can to preserve the light of consciousness. And the window, the window has been opened only now, after four and a half billion years, is that window open? That's, that's a long time to wait, and it might not stay open for long. I, I'm pretty optimistic by nature, but there's some chance. There's some chance that window will not be open for long. And I think we should become a multi-planet civilization while that window is open. And if we do, I think the probable outcome for Earth is even better, if, because then you know Mars could help Earth one day. You know, and so. I think we should really do our very best to become a multi-planet species and to extend consciousness beyond Earth. And we should do it now. You had that third failure in a row. Did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. If that fourth launch hadn't worked, that would have been it. Um, we would have not had the resources to mount a fifth. You couldn't have gone on at that point? We, we, it, yes, death would have been, I think, inevitable because we did not have the resources to, to mount a fifth launch. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Neil Armstrong, Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight in the way that you're developing it. And I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that uh, because those guys are, yeah. You know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. It's a good first light. E minus 15, stand by for terminal count. And nine, eight, Set booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Two.
Medium boost light up. On your screen, we have visual confirmation for Splashdown. I do think what, what this heralds really is fundamentally uh, a new era in space flight, a new era in space exploration. We're, we're going to go to the moon, we're going to have a base on the moon, we're going to have send people to Mars have, and, and make life multiplanetary. And I think this, this day heralds a new age of space exploration. That's what it's all about. Um, and this is the result of an incredible, incredible amount of work uh, from people at SpaceX, people at NASA. I mean, so much for 18 years. This has been 18 years to to finally fly people to, to orbit and back. And um, you know, I think this is something that the whole world can take uh, some some uh, pleasure in and, and can really look at this as an achievement of humanity. Um, and this. You know, these are these are difficult times when you know there's, there's not that much good news, and and I think this is one of those this is one of those those things that is universally good, no matter where you are on planet Earth. This is a good thing, and and I hope it brightens your day.